today we will solve some problems from the surface chemistry and the problems are from CSIR net exam and also from the GATE. I have already published a video on the surface chemistry problems and this is another video I have made that and this video I have made on the request and the question of request is from June 2018 and the question is the volume in centimeter cube of carbon monoxide adsorbed on charcoal surface at 273 Kelvin at different pressure is given through. We have given two different pressures 40 and 80 and the volume occupied at that is 25 and 40. If we assume the Langmuir adsorption isotherm, the maximum possible value that can be adsorbed is. Okay, so in this question we have to find out the maximum possible volume that can be adsorbed. It means what is the volume that can be maximumly occupied, adsorbed. So this is formed only if we consider the Langmuir adsorption isotherm. When a monolayer is formed on the surface, then that will be the maximum volume. Because on the surface, there is a surface on which a single layer of the molecules can be formed. So V mono, it means the volume of the monolayer will give us the maximum volume. So this we have to find out. Okay. According to the Langmuir adsorption isotherm, we know theta is equal to Kp upon 1 plus Kp. Now we have to expand this equation if we want to find out the V mono. So theta, theta is the fraction that is occupied and it is given by the volume that is occupied divided by the volume of the monolayer. Okay. If we if we consider these two formulas, join these two formulas, then we get V upon V mono will be equal to Kp upon 1 plus Kp. Okay, we can reverse this equation, invert this equation. So that we get V mono upon V will be equal to 1 plus 1 upon Kp. Okay, now we will do now we will multiply it with the pressure and divide it with the V mono. Multiply it with the pressure. It means P and divide with V mono so that this will cancel out and we get P upon V. And here we will get P upon V mono. Plus here multiply with pressure and divide with V mono, we get this. Okay. If we see this equation, this equation is like the equation of the straight line. Y is equal to mx plus c. This equation. This part is equivalent to y. This to mx. This is equivalent to x. And this 1 upon V mono will be equivalent to m. And this part will give us the value of c. If we plot a graph, we can plot a graph between p upon v and P and we will get a straight line and the slope of this M will give the value of the V mono 1 upon V mono so we can say that the slope is equal to 1 upon V mono and the slope we know that the slope is given by y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 the value of x we know but the value of y we don't know so we have to find out the value of these y's. y2 value is given by p2 upon v2. It means 80 upon 40. That will be equal to 2. And y1's value will be equal to p1 upon v1. That means 40 upon 25. That will be equal to 1.6. Okay. Now we can find out the value of 1 upon v mono. That will be equal to 2 minus 1.6 divided by values of x2 and x1. 80 minus 40. Okay. It will be equal to 0.4 divided by 40. This is the value of 1 upon v mono. Now v mono will be equal to 40 upon 0.4 it means it will be equal to 100 it will be equal to 100 this is our answer 
So we can match it in our options. We can see this is second option. It is the right answer. Okay. Then the next question is from June 2017. And the question is the figure below this figure depicts the adsorption isotherm of O2 on charcoal at 90 Kelvin at pressure 25 torr. Only 10% of charcoal sites are occupied by O2. Therefore, the ratio of adsorption to desorption rate constant in tor inverse is close to and we have given four different values. Okay. In this question, we have to find out the ratio of adsorption to desorption rate constants. It means Ka divided by Kd that we have to find out. And we know that according to the Langmuir adsorption isotherm, theta is given by Kp upon 1 plus Kp. Now what is this K? This K is the Ka upon Kd. When we derive this equation, I have made a video on Langmuir adsorption isotherm. You can watch that video. And in that video, you can see that this Ka is the rate constant for adsorption process and Kd is the rate constant for desorption process. So this is the ratio that we have to find out. That is asked. Okay. Pressure given to us. Pressure is 25 to. And theta's value we have given. That is 10%. 10% means 10 divided by 100. It means its value is 0.1. Okay. So, very easy question. We can find out the value of this k. So, we put the value simply 0 0.1 is equal to k into 25 divided by 1 plus k into 25. Okay. When we solve this, we can get 0 0.1, 0 0.1 plus 2.5k will be equal to 25k or we can write 25k minus 2.5k will be equal to 0 0.1. It means 22.5k will be equal to 0 0.1. It means k will be equal to 0 0.1 divided by 22.5. Okay, we can find out its value and its value will be approximately 0.004 tor inverse that is the answer that we have to find out okay we can match it option number two it is the right answer okay then the next question is from gate 2017 and you may see here that most of the question in surface chemistry are asked from the Langmuir adsorption isotherm so you should learn the Langmuir adsorption isotherm in very good way okay so this question is also on the Langmuir adsorption isotherm. I have taken the three different type of questions. And if you want, you can do more questions. And the same questions are repeating. So you can do in the same way all the questions. And this question is on the dissociative mechanism. The dissociative chemi adsorption of X2 gas on metal surface follows Langmuir adsorption isotherm. The ratio of rate constant of adsorption and desorption process is 4 atmosphere inverse. The fractional surface coverage of X at one atmospheric pressure is. So we have to find out here the value of theta. Okay. And this is the based on the dissociative mechanism. I have already made a video on the dissociative mechanism of the Langmuir adsorption isotherm. You may watch that video. And you can find out here that when a molecule dissociates into two atoms on the adsorption, then the formula becomes somewhat different and we write the formula like this theta is equal to kp to the power 1 by 2 because the molecule is dissociating, dissociating into two atoms so we write 1 by 2 divided by 1 plus kp to the power 1 by 2 okay here value of k we have given the value of k K is equal to Ka upon Kd, rate constant for adsorption divided by rate constant for desorption. And this will, this value already we have given and it value is 4 atmosphere inverse. And the pressure we have given, the pressure is 1 atmosphere. So we can put this value and we can get our answer. Theta will be equal to 
फोर इंटू वन टू दी पावर हाफ डिवाइडेड बाई वन प्लस फोर इंटू वन टू दी पावर हाफ ओके इट मीन्स दिस इज फोर एंड दैट अंडर रूट ऑफ फोर विल बी इक्वल टू टू वन प्लस रूट फोर विल बी इक्वल टू टू सो इट विल बी इक्वल टू टू अपॉन थ्री दैट विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स 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 एंड सो ऑन एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट दिस आंसर टू द टू डेसिमल पॉइंट सो इट विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन दिस विल बी अवर आंसर ओके देन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम गेट टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन एंड द क्वेश्चन इज अगेन ऑन लैंड न्यू एडजप्शन आई सो दम क्वेश्चन इज एडजप्शन ऑफ कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड ऑन चार कोल एट टू सेवेंटी थ्री कैलवेन फोलोज लैंड न्यू एडजप्शन आई सो दम ए प्लॉट ऑफ पी अपॉन बी वर्सेज पी इज लीनियर विद स्लोप ऑफ पॉइंट जीरो वन एंड वाई इंटरसेप्ट इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट फाइव द इक्विलिब्रियम कॉन्स्टेंट के फॉर द एडजॉप्शन इज सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट हियर द इक्विलिब्रियम कॉन्स्टेंट के इज वैल्यू ओके द क्वेश्चन इज समवाट सिमिलर टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन दैट आई हैव सॉल्व इन दैट क्वेश्चन वी हैव एक्सपेंडेड द लैंग एडजप्शन आई सुधा एंड वी हैव डिराइव दिस इक्वेशन दैट इज पी अपॉन वी इज इक्वल टू पी अपॉन बी मोनो प्लस वन अपॉन के टाइम्स बी मोनो यू मे कंसिडर दैट क्वेश्चन एंड देन वी सी दैट इफ वी प्लॉट ए ग्राफ बिटवीन पी अपॉन वी एंड पी दिस इक्वेशन इज सिमिलर टू वाई इज इक्वल टू एम एक्स प्लस सी एंड इफ वी प्लॉट ए ग्राफ बिटवीन पी अपॉन वी एंड पी देन द स्लोप विल बी इक्वल टू वन अपॉन वी मोनो दिस विल बी इक्वल टू स्लोप एंड दिस विल बी इक्वल टू वाई इंटरसेप्ट इट मीन्स वन अपॉन वी मोनो this is our slope and that's value upon that's value have been given to us that is 0.01 and y intercept its value is 0.5 y intercept is 1 upon k times v mono and its value is 0.5 so this value we can put here so that we can write 0.01 divided by k will be equal to 0.5. It means k will be equal to 0.01 divided by 0.5. That will be equal to 0.02. This will be our answer. This is the equilibrium constant that we have to find out. So these are some questions on the surface chemistry. and on the land mirror adsorption isotherm all the question has been asked on land mirror adsorption isotherm so you consider these questions very carefully and do more questions thank you